All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to the V Fast Start Training. We're going to go through uh, what it really takes to get your business up and running, uh, your new V business. And one of the things I want to say here um, is that this training, we're assuming that you've already gone through the Jump Jumpstart training. Yeah. In other words, there's a, there's a, there's a one-two process here. So if you're brand new into Vive, you want to get with the person that sponsored you and really make sure that you've gone through the, the onboarding and, and, the, and the Vive Jumpstart. Because the Vive Jumpstart, it gets you through all the products. It gets you used to your back office. It does all the heavy lifting of the tedious stuff that, that we don't want to be doing um, you know, one-on-one -on -one with people. What we want to do one-on-one -on -one with people is teach them how to reach out to people, how to build their business and actually hold their hand and, and help them reach out. So some of the steps you see here, I'm going to go through really quick because they already should have happened by this point in the Vive Jumpstart training. So if you're new to this business and you're, and you're uh, watching this video, make sure that you go through the Vive Jumpstart training. And um, it's a series of 12 steps, video lessons, and it just guides you step by step by step. So so obviously you're going to, you know, if you're signing somebody, you, the first step is to sign them up, uh, help them to get their bundle, help them understand the products a little bit and get them connected to the Jumpstart training, right? And the Jumpstart training takes care of uh, step number two here with the key points of the back office. Uh, and the other thing we'd like to do and what we're doing here live is introduce your brand new business partner to two other Vive consultants. So the thing that I like about this live Fast Start training is we can do that right here. We can see each other face to face. We can trade phone numbers and um, you can get your brand new consultants uh, in the community of, of the like-minded people and the leaders that are here so we can help them build their business too. Um, and then the fourth thing, guys, you know, we want to, we always want to ask, you know, what do you want to get out of this business right now? Whether you want to get to 500 a month or 500,000 a month, uh, which may sound like a stretch, this business has no income cap. So, but it's not about me putting my goals on you. It's about you defining what you want out of this business, whether it's the social aspect, if you want to just be part of a like-minded community, make a few bucks, you know, show up at socials. Uh, a, large, a large part of your business as you go on through year one, two, three, four, and five and bigger, you'll find that there's, there's a, uh, probably 80% of your business are going to be people that just like the social part. They want to make somewhere between 500 and 1,000 a month, supplement their income. That's going to be the bulk of your business. So, um, the key thing to do here is really ask yourself what you want to get out of the business. Because when you answer that question, we can help you tailor a business plan that'll help you hit that goal no matter what it is. Uh, the fifth thing, guys, is, and we're going to work with you here, is to make a list. Make a list of the top 10 or 20 people, I like to say 20, that you know in your warm market that you would like to be in business with. Now, you don't have to know them intimately. You may, you may have people that you respect that are property managers or multiple business owners and say, geez, I'd really love to, if I could get in business with that guy, uh, that would be beneficial, right? So we want to make that list of people that, that are realtors, that people that are own businesses, they've demonstrated yeah, success. Okay, the call. What's that? Sorry. JJ, do you see him? Well, that's okay. Let's, I'm recording this. So let's just keep moving. Okay. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go backwards. Um, awesome. we'll, we'll get into that. So, um, I was just it, someone who came on, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Um, we want to make this list of these top 20 people and then go through that with our team and our, and our list. Uh, what we're going to work on here today, and we can, we can do the introduction then too, we're going to work on the concept of text blitzing. Right? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna teach you guys here today, but then I also want you guys to, to adopt this principle because this is just the contacting and the inviting part. It's our daily method of operation. It's, it's not letting one day go by without reaching out to like five people only takes about 10 minutes. And when you, when, you, when you understand the daily method of operation in network marketing, you become a, it becomes very, very powerful because then you can surrender to the process. And what I tell people, I don't care if you get customers every day. I, I just care that you're reaching out trying to. Because what we're going to do is coach you to study, study a little bit in network marketing and then do, and then study and then do. So I don't care if you're getting business partners every day. I care, if you're, I care that you're asking people, hey, are you open to check out a business model because if you're if you're constantly asking every day it's just a it's just a, a game of numbers and time before you'll, you'll bump into the right people so we really want to uh, surrender to the process um, step number seven is to is to get people connected with the industry information right get people connected with with what should I be studying because 
network marketing is its own career. It's its own profession. It has its own skill set. And I don't, I don't care what business you came from. I don't care if you're making a million dollars um, in, pro, in real estate. It, it, you might not have any skills in network marketing. It, it's a complete different profession. I'm, I'm a mechanical engineer. I have multiple businesses. But the skill set for network marketing was completely different. Now, I was very fortunate to have a mentor my first, uh, almost instantly, I, well, I went and sought them out. I, somebody was making about $150,000 a month in this industry. Um, my first week in the business, I drove to Jersey and I asked them to mentor me and I just did what they said. And they told me to get this, this Eric Worre GoPro book at the time, but there's CDs, there's MP3s. But if you guys go to the, the GoPro website, I'll give you the address when we, when we get off the screen share. You know, I made the commitment that I was going to study some of the skills and the craft to become a professional networker because my decision for myself was to, um, to generate a seven-figure passive income from this industry. Again, that might not be your goal. I'm just letting you know what I, what I did, and I want to give you guys the same information. Um, there's also another service that we'll go through here called Rank Makers. And um, what I really want to do is get you guys connected into the method of operation that we're doing here. Uh, within Vive. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys an overview and I'll stop the screen share now and sort of switch gears. And uh, so JJ, who's, what's JJ all about? I think he's muted right now. Oh, I think you're muted, brother. Uh, can you hear me? Hey, there you go. What's happening? How you doing? It's nice to meet you. You too, you too. Um, well, I'm sorry. I'm actually on my way to work right now. So, but that's all right. If you, if you just want to listen in, you'll get some of the concepts. And then, are you, um, Jay? Is he one of your direct sponsors or one of Peter's? Peter, he, I, I, I he was at the event uh, two nights ago. Oh, perfect, perfect. And, uh, yeah. Yep. So you guys can get together. This is recorded, so you can get together and physically um, help JJ book some appointments. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So, JJ, if you just want to listen along, that's cool. It's nice to meet you. And, and Jay, Jay will give you my phone number. We'll get connected. If you, mm. um, if you need to reach out for any reason, if you're trying to, you know, uh, give a customer question. I mean, what you want to do is, is, you know, go through Peter, go through Jay. But if you guys have something, if, if you know somebody that's, uh, you know, a property manager, some A player that you, that you need me to help you close the deal, I'm happy to do that. Okay, definitely. All right, brothers, I'm going to mute you just for the background noise. Um, so why don't we do this, guys? Why don't we go through? I'm going to type in a couple of things in the chat for you guys to get you connected. Uh, so this first website is the networkmarketingpro.com. This is where I learned to become a professional network marketer. It's, it's Eric Worre's site. Um, I've been to the GoPro Master event every year since I started network marketing five years straight. And um, it's been an amazing, amazing journey. People there are making seven, eight, and even nine figures. There's people that have made over $100 million in network marketing. Same industry, same everything. And we are blessed, very, very blessed to be part of a, a newer startup company. So we're getting that explosive kind of early adopter uh, benefit. Not that you need it, but it is a nice it is a nice. Uh, almost like a lottery ticket, I guess you call it. So my suggestion for you guys would be to go to Network Marketing Pro. You can get the CDs, the, the GoPro CDs. I have the book, I have a bunch, of, I've gotten hundreds of these. I hand them out like candy to my downline. If you yourselves bite off on that training um, and, then, and then get your team to bite off on it, quite honestly, it's probably the only network marketing thing you have to study in your first year. It's that good. I mean, it's, um, if he has, he has, um, a seven step process or an eight step process that we get down. He teaches the language, how to peak interest, how to close the deal. And um, the first thing that I did that I was told to do is my mentor said, listen to these CDs a hundred times as fast as you can. So I did that, I think in six, I just had it in my car and now we have MP3s and we have different stuff. But, um, but that's, you know, that was something that I did because I wanted to be a, uh, you know, I wanted to get to that level. All right, so that's, that's the first thing, um, is to get connected to that and, again, get your team connected to it. The next thing is um, if you guys are more in tune with building on social media, especially Millennials, Jay, this is, this is something 
There's a service out there called Rank Makers. I'm going to type this in too. And this service is from a friend of mine, Ray Higdon. He developed a multi seven figure business, him and his wife, with no warm market. They did it all on social media, 100% Facebook, social media with strangers. So I, I'm, I'm more old school. I believe in, you know, face to face. And, and you could do a combination of both. But if somebody out there is, is more comfortable and they want to go the route of really building the business online, then they want to sign up for Rank Makers, which if you just, if you get on uh, Facebook and you just type in search for Rank Makers, all kinds of shit will come up. And uh, what, what Ray does is he takes all the heavy lifting off. If you're a leader, people can get every day he's on there and he gives an action step every day. He says, this is what you want to do. He teaches, he teaches you how to build a, a base of people on Facebook and what to say to them, how to engage with them, and how to, how to pull it offline and actually recruit them. So between, I look at it this way, between Network Marketing Pro, which is kind of the old school, and Rank Makers, which is the new school, these two things, if you, again, if you get your team to bite off on this training, all your work's going to be done. Like you're not in the business of teaching network marketing to your team. Right. We're in the business of peaking interest, showing a business model, and plugging people into other resources. The more you guys can understand that and disconnect from the results, the more success, the less you won't get frustrated. You know, we're not, we're not in the business of trying to motivate people because it's literally impossible. We're showing a business model and we're helping people by connecting the dots. We, we, we help them get connected to the back office. We help them get connected to other, other people in V. We help them get connected to these sites that I'm giving you here. And then it's up to them to run their business. Right? Um, we don't want you guys burning out trying to motivate people because it's impossible. Yep. So that's that. Um, and then the next thing we'll get into here, rank makers. Oh, the Tuesday night trainings. Let me type that in the chat box. So, so within Vive, we have a structure. We have a, a fully operational up and running system that you guys can plug into. Now that system on, on Tuesday nights at seven o'clock, we have a weekly training and I'll post it in here. That, that weekly training is we come together and we build the business together in harmony online, just like this. And we usually do a little bit of content, maybe 10 or 15 minutes of content. Um, and, but then we do about a half hour of blitzing. It's, we, we actually reach out and book appointments together online. So if you don't know what to say and you don't know how to start, we literally coach you on exactly what to say. So let me, uh, let me find that link. Bear with me for a second. All right, I'm going to post this link in here too. Bear with me. So this is the V's business builder training every Tuesday night at seven o'clock. And I'll give you the link here. Let's see. All right, there it is there zoom. So now the idea here guys, you can literally sponsor somebody today and then you point them to the jumpstart training and then you, you point them, to these other trainings and you don't, you end up not having to train your team. I mean, you're not, you're not really qualified to when you first start right day one. So all we really want you doing is peaking interest, showing people a business model and asking them if they're open, if they're open to explore it. Now they're either going to say yes or no and either way is fine. And it doesn't really matter. We're in the business of showing people what we're up to. And if it peaks interest, great. If it doesn't not, and we're also in the business of getting customers, obviously. So that's the seven o'clock, and then we have the, the eight o'clock jumpstart training, which let me, uh, let me put that in. Uh, 
All right, so this is the eight o'clock fast start training, which is exactly what we're doing here, right? This is where somebody, that they're brand new, you just signed them up, they've already gone through the jump start training with Vive in the back office, and then they come here and we get them connected. Um, you'll see here, Kenny Cloutier is on the line. We have different leaders that jump on, so say hi, Kenny. What's up, guys? Sorry about that. So Kenny, <laughs> Kenny's another one of the leaders, and uh, he's, he's a pace setter. We're, we're on our way to partner, and he's another one of the leaders in Jeeve. So when we do these live fast hour trainings, brand new people get connected to the top people in the company. There'll be different people on, different people running it. And it's a good way to build a community, build a family, and, uh, and to just get connected human to human, you know? Um, so Kenny, why don't you type your phone number in there? Yeah, so, they, I think everybody has it when, when we met them uh, Wednesday night. Okay. You guys all have Kenny's number, yeah? But I'll, I'll, I'll put it back in just in case, but... Uh... No, I've been in contact with a couple of you guys, and uh, you know, one thing is we, we truly appreciate you guys. And this business works best when you ask for help with others, because it shows the people that you're showing the business to that it's not it's not something you do by yourself. You know, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Where you're all here for each other, and you know, by you guys reaching out to myself, Brian, Matt, anybody, you're actually helping us. You might not think so. You think we're helping you, but you're helping us because you're helping us you know, hone in our skills, stay sharp, make sure that we have the information, you know, the best that we have the knowledge. And if not, guess what? I'll point to somebody else. Listen, you know what? That's a great question. I've been in for a long time. I don't have that answer, but I can get that answer for you. Um, but it's, it's leveraging each other. So, uh, no, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for everybody here. We're in a, Jay, you know, I mean, we, we spoke about this. You said it's such a different, different energy and a different feeling than your last ventures. Um, it's a family type community where we're just all want each other to, to, to strive, survive and, and, and grow and become more as a, as an individual, as a person. So you're able to help more people, you know, um, whether it be in the business or not. I mean, I have people that have shown the business that, you know, they don't want nothing to do with it, which is fine, but we still collaborate. They, they're a customer or they, or they'll say, hey, you know, we'll, we'll talk to this guy but we're still collaborating as far as helping them through their life journey, helping them become better, giving them the right books that, you know, that I've been introduced by Brian and, and, and a couple other people that have put me on a path to becoming a better version of myself. Cause uh, one thing I know is you, it, once you become the best version of yourself, you can help other people do the same. And there's no other, no other feeling in the world more gratifying than that in my eyes. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, because I'm driving. I'm trying to be safe. Yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> yeah, so guys, make sure you use your resources. And you the resource. I'm a resource. Um, can you get a little bit of background noise, too, if you could? Yeah, you go. Thanks. Um, what I want to do now, guys, is just teach you a little bit about how to reach out to people. Uh, you got some resources there that you can plug into. Um, what we want to do now is we want to build a list. And the easiest way to build a list, I just tell people, open up your phone, start with the letter A. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but um, I, I, I just reached on work. I got to leave. Um, you said this was recorded. Is it possible I could watch it over afterwards? Or yeah, something? yeah, or something? yeah. We'll get you the recording. No worries. Okay, I appreciate it. Then um, do that. And I got to head to work right now. So thank you guys for joining me to the call. And hope to talk, we could talk more and do good good, talk and do more business, right? Sounds good. Take care. All right. Thank you so much. Sure. So guys, what I want to do, this is going to be an easy methodology. And Jay, Jay and I were talking about this. Every single contact in your phone, you can approach. Now, mentally, we have a hard time with that because we start to build, we start to build the picture of what the person is going to think before we even open up our mouths. What are they going to think? What am I, you know, this, they're already, this person's already a millionaire. We start to paint a picture in the wrong direction. So what I want to give you is this thing we call the ABC list. Every single person in your phone falls into an A, B, or C category. Right? Somebody in the A category, everybody has somebody in the A category. These are people that for some reason, they look up to you. They respect you for some reason. Maybe they're younger than you. Maybe you earn more money. Maybe you're in a higher position. Whatever it is, everybody has certain people that are in this A category. Now, people in the A category, you can pretty much tell them. Say, listen, I got something I want to run by you. Let's meet for a beer. Let's meet for a coffee. You can literally tell them that we're going to meet, and they'll meet you. These might be some of your best friends. I told Kenny what we were doing, right? <laughs> um, some of your best friends. Um, 
Everybody has some of those people. Those are the first people we want to reach out to. Now, whether, whether we reach out as a customer or a potential business partner depends on them. You know, if this is your lazy beer drinking buddy with no motivation, that's a customer. Right? We, we, don't want to, we don't want to try and convince people that are just inherently lazy to come into a business with us because you're going to you'll waste a lot of time with yourself and, 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 um, and them, you know. So, uh, you know, ideally we're looking for people that, that are looking, right? But, but customers, we're dealing with energy, we're dealing with travel. Everybody uses energy. There's no reason you should ever not get a customer with your warm market, your grandmother, your relatives, these people, you know, now they may have an idea when you approach them, you might have that little bit of a, um, you know, what's he trying to sell me thing, but you got to understand that we're taking an energy bill and we're discounting it. Right. So if we're literally taking something already doing and discounting it, there's no reason that we shouldn't, everybody we approach become a customer, except if we lack the skills. And that's why we, that's why we come together here. We teach you what to say. And listen, it's okay if you lack the skills. You know, I didn't have these skills when we first started. So that's why we come together and study. But everybody in the A group, you can reach out and tell them, listen, I got a new business. I want, I'm going to come over for 15 minutes on Wednesday night. I want to show you what's up, right? So whether you approach them as a customer or a business partner is the only question. So you want to build a list of those A people. Uh, the people in the B category is, is your biggest group. This is, this is your peer group. This is most of the people that you know. Um, you know, you're at a similar stage in life, maybe similar income, very similar, similar everything, you know. Uh, there might be a little bit of up and down, but, but not a lot. In this category, this is me and Kenny were in this group. We're peers, right? Jay, we're peers. You would be in that group. Um, I reach out to them and we're, we're asking, we might be asking for help. If it's a customer, say, hey, Jay, what's happening? But listen, I got a new business. I'm looking for a little bit of help. I'd love to get on a call 15 minutes, one night this week or over the weekend. I could really use your, your input on this. It's very hard to say no to that, that phraseology. Like, I'm asking for help, looking for guidance. Do, do me a favor, right? And Jay, I think this is in line with what you used to do as well. Now, whether it's as a customer or a business partner becomes the only, only difference. So if it's a customer, I'm reaching out, looking for a little bit of help. I just started a new business. I could use your feedback. You know, um, you know can we meet one night this week or over the weekend? For 15 minutes, right? That's a, that's the customer side. If it's if it's the business side of it, I'd say, hey Jay, what's happening, brother? Listen, are you still in digital marketing? I got a business idea. I want to run by you. I could really use your input on it. Can we meet one night this week or over the weekend? You'll notice my language is within the next seven days. Can we meet one night this week or over the weekend? I don't leave it open ended, right? I'm gonna follow this text, and this is all texting, by the way. I'm gonna follow it all the way to an appointment. Right? If he says, yeah, sure, buddy, it's okay, does Wednesday night or Tuesday night work? I'm going to whittle it down, and then does 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock work? I'm going to whittle that down until I have a booked appointment, whether it's a customer or a business partner. Right? And Jay said, yeah, creating urgency. But, but this, is, this is the professional side. So to peak interest is one thing. To book an appointment is the professional business. That's what we want you guys doing. So this B category is more like that. We're reaching out, looking for a little bit of help. I could use your advice. Um, now, the C category, what we call the chicken list, this is people that you look up to, you respect. Maybe they're a millionaire. Maybe, they have, maybe they're a lot older than you. For whatever reason, you look up to them, and you might be apprehensive about pro approaching them in network marketing. But this is how you do it. You say, hey, hey Jay, what's happening? But listen, uh, I really respect the fact that you, you have your, your car lot, and I know you're a property manager. you got the liquor store. You have all these businesses, and I have a new business uh, that I want to run by you. It's probably not for you, but I would really appreciate your point of view on it. Your, uh, I'd like you to run it through it and, and give me your, your input on it. Um, so what I said there is it's probably not for you. But what I want to do is I want to show this person the business because they know, and I'll even tell them this, you probably know realtors, you probably know property managers, you know successful people. We're dealing with energy. And uh, I want to show it to you because maybe you can help connect me with somebody else. All right, so that's how you deal with a C-list. So what we're, what we're doing here is we're giving you language so that every single person in your phone you can connect with. And that's what we want to do. I don't want you to prejudge anybody. We want you to literally contact every single person in your phone over the next, uh, whatever, 30, 60, 90 days. Does that make sense, guys? 
So what I want to do here, that's the ABC list. That's, that's, that's what we do. Uh, what I want to do here is just spend about 10 or 15 minutes. I have an 11 o'clock appointment. I want to actually do some text blitzing together. Uh, now, Kenny, you're driving, so don't do this. But uh, Peter, I want you to you know, open up your phone. And Jay, same thing with you. Open up your phone, start with the letter A, and let's start reaching out to people, either for a customer or a business partner. And um, so, JJ, who's the first person who shows up on your phone? Oh, I think he froze a little bit. Oh, sorry, Peter, not JJ. He left. Peter. I think he froze up. Oh, there we go. He's back. Andrew. 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 Andrew? Sorry about that. No, no worries. <laughs> I, was in, I was in my contact. <laughs> so Andrew is the first yeah, person that shows up? Yep. Now, what is, what is Andrew to you? Is a friend, colleague? What's his deal? Andrew, Andrew is a colleague. He's a, uh, I think he's in a, I, I reckon he's one of the management positions at my job. Okay. So he might be somebody that, that you look up to or a little bit of a chicken list, or is he more of a peer? Um, peer slash chicken list. No, no. Peer, yeah, peer. Okay. So we're going to ask him. Somebody in that position, if it's me, I always, I personally always ask business first because I can always pivot to customer. If I show somebody the business and it doesn't resonate, for me, it's an either or. At the, at the end of my pitch, I say, do, do you see the value? Are you up for doing this together or would you rather just be a customer? That's not a yes or no. That's an what have I already asked him already? What's that? <laughs> what have I already spoke to that guy already? <laughs> <laughs> You already spoke to Andrew? I'm sorry? You already spoke to Andrew? Did you say Brian? I already spoke to Andrew, yeah. I spoke to Andrew when I first hopped on board with uh, with V. That's okay. What'd you say to him? I told him I asked him if he was interested in like, making extra income. I told him that I started a home business. It's a startup company, technology based, and, and uh Okay, so this, this, is, this is a really good point. So what you were trying to do, was it was that a text? That was in person. In person. Okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but you, you, try, you, you started to try to sell them with your, your, with your words and your language and yourself instead of saying, hey, I got something I want to earn by you and pushing play on a video. No, that was my problem in the beginning. Well, it's not, it's not a problem. <laughs> I just want to highlight what's going on because oh, – yeah. You, yep. you may have the skills. You may actually be able to sell him, show a slide deck, and actually close him and get him as a business partner. You might have those skills, but that's not duplicatable is the problem. You're going you're gonna to talk to Susie Homemaker, who has no confidence, no public speaking skills, and she's not going to be able to do that at all, and she's going to fail, right? So what you, it doesn't matter. In network marketing, it does not matter what works. It matters what duplicates. That makes sense? So all you want to do is reach out to Andrew. Now, what did Andrew say? What did he say to you? Andrew said, uh, he said, yeah, he's interested. Oh, oh perfect. He's interested in hearing about, the, uh, hearing about it. Perfect. So good. So let's, let's and, follow that up. Let's follow it. Let, let's book an appointment with him right now. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, all I want you to do is text him and say, hey, brother, what's happened? However you would normally text him. And say, yeah. you know, can well, we? I would, I've never, oh, you don't text, text him? No, not really. I mean, I, I, I talk to him at work. Oh, that's what you mean by, well, when you said peer and chicken list, I figured chicken list was somebody who I don't talk to often. And peer would be somebody I do talk to more than, yeah, that, more than uh, less. I mean, I see him every time I see him at work. No, it's not. It's not a. It's not a function of who you talk to. It's a function of your fear, <laughs> right? Somebody on the chicken list. Oh, I'm not scared of talking. <laughs> oh, good. Well, perfect. Then you probably don't have a chicken list. Yeah, good. Um, but the ABC list is, you know, if somebody's already worth ten million dollars, you know, they might not. They might not be interested in network marketing or this business. So the the way you reach out to them, the way you break the ice, and the way that you lower their walls is you say, "Listen, I respect your position. I would really value your input on this business, this this new business I have. And it's it's probably not for you, but I'd like to get your opinion because maybe you know some realtors, maybe you know some property managers. We're dealing with you know we're dealing with energy, and we get paid every single month on on energy usage. 
Now, what I did there is I lowered their walls. I asked for their help, but I did plant the seed that they know all these people that use a lot of energy and that we get paid yeah. on kilowatts, right? So, so he's going to be thinking, well, wait a minute. Why not me? I know, I know hundreds of realtors. I know people that manage thousands of units and property, and you're getting paid on energy? But the first thing I did is I lowered his walls and I said, this is probably not for you. That's the only difference between a C, somebody, I would call him an A player, but on the C list here is you want to lower their walls and pique their interest, even though they're already worth a hundred million dollars, whatever it is, you know, that's the difference. Does that make sense? Um, yes. But if Andrew is somebody that you talk, talk to on the phone, then I would give him a call right now and book the appointment. And uh, if call me now? Yeah, if, is, he, is he somebody you can meet for coffee? Is he willing to meet with me with coffee? I don't know. I'm not even sure where he lives. Oh, you don't know where he lives? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. That's okay. Then, then give him a buzz. Or, or I mean, you, if you have his phone number, you can text him. I mean, just because you haven't texted him doesn't mean you can't. Uh, try, try, yeah, no. yeah. I can text try texting him and just say, hey, brother, what's happening? Or not brother, uh, hey, bud, or whatever you would call him. Or, or if it's very formal, say, hey, Andrew. Um, you know, I'd like to meet about that. That uh, call it a business idea too, and don't call it an opportunity. I'd like to meet about that business idea I was I was talking about. Um, you know, what what day this coming week works for you? Simple, short, and sweet. So, hey, Andrew, how you doing? I'd like to meet about the business idea I was talking about. Yeah. What, what day of the week? Are you free? Uh, just say, what, what day of the week can you meet? You ask somebody when, when they're free. If they're busy, they're never free, right? Gotcha. What, what day of the week can we meet? I wouldn't even say, would you like to? I'd just say, what, that'd be, you've already piqued his interest. He already said yes. Now it's time to book the appointment. Yeah, it doesn't matter when now. Yeah. And tell him, say, listen, we can either meet for a coffee or we can, we can meet on Zoom. Give him an option. Now, what you, what you just did there is part of a text blitz. When, when, when we're in the mode of reaching out to people, what you want to do is sit down and do like 30 of these. And I want you guys to actually do this. Jay, I want you to do it. And, and uh, like I said, I got to go in about 10 minutes here. But I want you to reach out to 30 people and just ask them. And, and all we're trying to do is book appointments for next week or the week after. Obviously, it's the holidays, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's very short and sweet. Don't, do not try to sell them on the text. Don't tell them what it is. Don't tell them all about it. Don't mention energy. Don't, uh, I wouldn't use this. Uh, the, it's a startup business. Some people don't want anything to do with startups. Some, that, that might scare some people. Like, listen, yeah, yeah. Jay, no, I, I, I like to relate it to people. Like, if I hadn't talked to Jay in a year, Jay, what's up, brother? Are you, are you still in that digital marketing business? And then, and then I'll put a space, and this is copywriting. Uh, listen, I got a business idea I'll run them by you. Uh, it may or may not be a fit, but I think it's worth checking out. Do you, you know, can we meet yep. one night this week or over the weekend? So it's, it's a text just like that. So very short and sweet. And uh, you want to ask the question. I like to say one night this week or over the weekend within the next seven days and you just follow it up. Uh, now, if they ask you what it's all about, say, you know, honestly, it's easier. The reason I want to do a Zoom is it's a visual thing. I don't want, I don't want to text you bits and pieces. There's a lot of things. You, you, you don't want to have somebody pull you into texting what it's all about. Uh, because as soon as they have a little information, you say, well, it's a company called Vive. They're going to go Google Vive. They're going to go offline and you, and you lost them. Um, same thing with a customer. I just, you know, well, what's it about? It's like, oh, I, I, have, I have something I think I can help you out with. I'd love to catch up. Take it off. I, I'd love to catch up and see what you've been up to. Human to human, you know. Uh, now, the customers are mostly your relatives, friends, and family anyway. So those should be pretty easy, you know, uh, to get an appointment with. But uh, what I want you guys to do is... Um, Make a commitment to reach out to 30 people if you have time right now or sometime today uh, on a Saturday. I think Jay's doing it right as we speak. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Man of action right there. I do. <laughs> but does that make sense? Do you have any questions on, on what to say to either a customer or, or, or a business partner? I want you to keep it short and sweet, man. The shorter, the better. Yeah, no. That's something I learned when getting into network marketing. And, um, and that's awesome that, you know, Keeping it short and sweet is a better way to go and duplicatable versus trying to sell it on my own.
Yep. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can, you can have them, you can invite them to a Zoom. You can invite them to the Tuesday night Zoom. Yeah. Um, but that can be slow because that's only Tuesday. That, that's waiting a bunch of days. I like to do this one-on-one -on -one with people. I, the first thing I do is I escalate one-on-one. -on -one. I get with them on a Zoom or in, or in coffee, and I'll show them a video. I'll pique their interest. Yeah. Um, and then from there, you can escalate to talk to Jay, talk to me, talk to Kenny, talk to Matt. We, we are another escalation for you. Okay. Or, you know, the socials, the, the physical meetings that we go to, that's another thing you can go to. Right? Um, so there's a lot of, lot of different things you can, you can escalate. Other, other, okay. Yeah, we call it escalating people through education until they, you know, until they uh, come in. All right, Jeff, do you have any, uh, any questions, anything else I can help you with? Um, at the moment, uh, I can't think of anything. You talked about a lot of things today that was very, 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 very uh, informative. I'm gonna implement those, and uh, hopefully, I can. I'm gonna get the recording of the video. So I can, just, you know, listen. To yeah, it again I'll, and get, again. I'll get you the recording, and you can play it. Yeah, because we did a lot of. There's a lot of language in there too, especially at the end when we did the text thing. Sure. Yeah, cool. Um, the other thing, Jay, I'll email you, and you can email this to your team. Yeah. The A B the A B C list and what we said and how to say it. I have a whole document. I'll send it right to you. And send it to your team. I want to make that list. We'll rock and roll. Yeah, I'll I'll awesome. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, again, daily method of operation. Commit to 15, 20, 30 minutes of this every single day, right? Yep. And, and a year later, you're going to have a monster business. So pretty pretty straightforward. So but I, uh, I definitely appreciate both you guys and I uh, appreciate your time. So make, make it a great weekend. And uh, if you need anything, reach out. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. Thank and, Jay, I think, you, I think you and I are chatting. We're chatting in a little bit here anyway, right? Cool. All right, boss. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. See you guys. Bye.